In this video, you will learn the fundamentals of integrating your Fibra CRM with LinkedIn, along with the key reasons why it's the best choice for you. Hey, I'm Ilya from Expandi.io, the world's safest cloud platform for doing automated LinkedIn outreach without getting noticed or banned. If you wish to turn your LinkedIn into a lead generation tool, be sure to subscribe for our weekly growth hacking tips and hit the bell so you will not miss the next episode. If you're considering integrating your Piper CRM with LinkedIn using no-code tools, keep on watching for details on how you can do this without coding knowledge. Also, stay tuned because we'll share with you a step-by-step -step LinkedIn Piper CRM integration guide. So let's dive in right now. Let's begin with a basic question. Why integrate Pydrive CRM and LinkedIn? Integrating your Pydrive with your LinkedIn allows you to sync your outreach database and perform the sales process more efficiently. There are three prominent cases when you need to integrate your LinkedIn account and Pydrive CRM. So case number one, make Pydrive CRM a single centralized place for all your contacts. If you're sending cold emails or reaching out to people via LinkedIn Messenger, you've got a lot of spreadsheets with LinkedIn contacts on them. But it's hard to keep track of all of them. It's, however, difficult to manage the number of spreadsheets. As a result, you will not remember which contacts you reached out to, what channels you used, and how they responded, and their current status in a given month. If there are several sales managers working in your company, managing such a database becomes a chaos. One of the obvious solutions is to make a centralized database of contacts available for all the sales managers in your company. Usually that is done with a CRM system. So now let's take a look at the step-by-step -step LinkedIn Pipedrive integration guide. So. The very first thing that we need to do is to go to LinkedIn and use your search. Um, so, for example, you find head of sales, you use people filter just to find only people. You filter them by location, by like by the level of, of, of the connection level that you have with them and so on and so forth. And once you do this, you have the link that you can copy and use third-party tools, for example, Tax AU. Um, so this is the tool that we personally use for uh, automation and doing some growth hacking things uh, to scrape this list of, of head of sales in this example and add it to Pipedrive. So for example, using Tax AU, we use Extract Profile from LinkedIn Search. And here um, you add uh, add your URL that you want to to scrape. In our case, it's this URL. And once you do this, then you, as a result, you have a, C, a, a CSV file that you can just easily upload to your pipe drive by clicking on data import and upload your um, your CSV file. That's it. Case number two: automatically update all events from LinkedIn to Pipedrive CRM. It's crucial to be able to segment leads in CRM based on behavioral factors. You can set up a LinkedIn filter to target a specific ICP to whom you sent a connection request, but was denied or one to target those who have already connected with you on LinkedIn, but have not responded. For example, there are many segmented options here. The first one, LinkedIn connection request sent, true or false. LinkedIn connection request accepted, true or false, and the third one, a LinkedIn message replied, true or false. Even with a minimal volume, it's nearly impossible to manually update all of LinkedIn actions with each new event. The correct automation software for a LinkedIn outreach must be able to automatically send a chain of follow-ups and send data about all activities to the CRM to solve this problem. Here comes Expandi and its webhook feature. You will have to set up an integration using third-party software, either Zapier or Make, formally Integromat. 
Here is the way how to integrate Xpandi LinkedIn Outreach campaigns and your pipe drive. So for this, we'll use make.com. It's like Zapier. Um, you can use actually Zapier or some other tools as well. But the example will be with Make. Um, that's former Integromat um, for everyone who who knows uh, the previous the legacy name. So what we actually need to do is to create a free account at uh, Make. And then here, once we have, um, once we come uh, to the scenarios bar, we click on create a new scenario. Then we click on plus. Then we choose webhooks. Click webhook. Then create a custom webhook. Add a custom webhook. Save it. And now we have the link. This is the link that we need to copy. So we click on copy and click OK. Now we go to Expandi. Here is to Expandi. Yeah. And click on webhooks over here. And then we click on create and add a new webhook. We name it, for example, in our case it will be pipe drive. And uh, we choose the type of like. For example any campaign and we choose the trigger when 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 it should triggers um you know when when it sh when the expandi should trigger um the automation so in our case it's a linkedin account linkedin campaign accepted yeah connection request sent no contact replied yeah connection request accepted so whenever people accept our connection request, they will be sent directly to Pipedrive. So yeah, we click it. Then for example, we choose a specific campaign and we choose send every, yeah, um, every one hour. So every single hour, uh, this automation will update new people. And we add the URL uh, that we had. And so we create the new webhook. Boom, now it's created. We need to turn it on. And then we come back here. So every single time people accept our connection requests for a specific campaign, something happens. And then we need to send this information about those people. So we know that um, they accepted our connection request. So now we need to add them to Pipedrive CRM. So what we need to do right now is add another model and this model will be pipe drive yeah pipe drive crm uh, create a deal in our case we add um cr oh create create a person yeah in this case we create the person we add an account here um we do it like this then yeah we allow in install, so we um, connect make.io or uh, make.com with Pipedrive. Yeah, um, we just fill this up, all good. And then we click on uh, Pipedrive CRM, create a deal based on this yeah, account, this one, yes. We also need to add more, yeah, continue to the app. Boom, it's done. Here, you just set up everything that you need, and that's it. Get all LinkedIn messages in Pipedrive CRM. That's case number three. As usual, adders are responsible for cold outreach, nurturing, and lead qualification. It means that SDR communicates with potential clients via email and LinkedIn. All SDRs communicate from their real LinkedIn account. So what to do if one of the SDRs is going to leave the company? If SDR leaves, you will lose access to all prospects. This SDR communicated on LinkedIn. Even if you have all prospects in the Pipedrive CRM, you will not know what they talked about and from which point your new SDR should continue this communication. To get all LinkedIn messages in Pipedrive CRM, you should integrate it with Surf. Here is a step-by-step -step instruction on how to do that. Hey, now I'll show you how to synchronize your LinkedIn conversations with your CRM. So you can add people directly to your CRM um, directly from LinkedIn. So to do this, we need to install Surf. The, the legacy name is Leadjet. So 
we just install it click here boom it's done now yeah now we need to connect our crm so in our case we connect pipe drive and allow and install so we connect surf with pipe drive boom it's done and now we have the ability to add these people and these conversations directly to our crm directly to pipe drive so in our case i will um i will connect max uh, that's a cmo at expandi so add as a contact to um yeah select desired position boom i choose this and we have this person directly within the the the, the, the pipe drive boom that's it uh, you can create tasks you can do whatever you want here and um, now you will never lose the conversations that you have within LinkedIn because you will have them directly in your pipe drive as well. Thanks a lot. Voila, you're done. There you have it. The LinkedIn contact that filled will be automatically updated through Expandi every time an invite is sent. In my next video, I'll be dropping many more super cool tips and tricks you can always trust to get a lot of leads and connections on LinkedIn. See you soon!